you don't know you need one until you actually need one. The impulse purchase of an umbrella is so common. That is the majority of sales of impulse purchase because it's raining. Richard Ince continues the craft of umbrella making with his small team here in East London, a family business that's been going for over 215 years. On average, each umbrella takes about an hour to make. For people to recognise what goes into a product is uh, important, just so they have a bit, better picture of, of everything in life, really. Be it an umbrella, be it a film, be it, goodness knows, cheese making, just everything. It just gives people a, a little bit more of a holistic approach to life and just to, to recognise and be more aware of life, of, of resources, of, of people's time, people's interests. The process of making an umbrella involves several stages. Every umbrella needs a canopy, so we, have to, we, cut, we cut the canopy, which then needs to be sewn together on the sewing machines. The canopies are then uh, have metal trim fixed to it, which enables the canopy to fit, be fitted to a frame. The frames can be either all metal, straight from a box from the frame maker, or they can have a wooden shaft, uh, which we make, uh, pull, pull, uh, bringing components together and assembling the frames here using very traditional techniques. Um, the canopies are then f fitted to the frames, uh, the umbrellas are finished, handles are fitted and trimmed and dispatched around the world. In the last step, a flame is used to fit the handle onto the umbrella. The umbrella is, is a a very famous sort of symbol of Britain really, the bowler hat and the, and the slim roll gents umbrella is, is an iconic image. So we, we're proud to make traditional umbrellas, um, well made, assembled, as my grandfather would recognise how it was made, which I think is, which is key to craft, is, is doing things that our ancestors would recognise. Jane Worrell, NTD News, London.